The most important predictor for success through IVF treatment is the age of the female. Women who are under the age of 35 have the highest chance of success, and success rates decline as age increases. There are other factors that are used to predict success through IVF treatment, and this will include things such as ovarian reserve, the condition of the uterus, the presence of endometriosis, and the quality of the sperm from the partner. When studying a clinic's success rates, it's important to understand what numerator is being reported in the figure that's being quoted. IVF success rates can be reported in a number of ways. Pregnancy rates are simply when you have a positive pregnancy test. Clinical pregnancy rates are when you have the detection of a fetal heartbeat on ultrasound somewhere between six and seven weeks of gestation. Live birth rate is obviously when you have a live birth. Live birth is what we're all trying to achieve, so that's the most relevant way of reporting success rates through IVF. Miscarriages can happen at any time in a pregnancy, so pregnancy rates are higher than clinical pregnancy rates, and clinical pregnancy rates are higher than live birth rates. When studying an IVF clinic success rates, there's another important variable to consider, and that's the number of cycles being performed. The accuracy of a clinic's IVF success rates will increase as the number of cycles they perform increases. The number of cycles performed by that clinic is also another way to measure the experience of that clinic. The most recent IVF success rates that are available are from 2011. In 2011, our live birth rate per embryo transfer procedure in women under the age of 35 was 55.7%. The national average for that age group was 46.3%. For women between the ages of 35 and 37, our live birth rate per embryo transfer procedure was 44.2%. The national average for that group was 38.4%. For the past three years, our IVF success rates have been very consistent. The average live birth rate per embryo transfer procedure in women under the age of 35 was 55.7%, while for women between the ages of 35 and 37, the live birth rate per embryo transfer procedure was 47.5%. For a detailed report of our IVF success rates, one can go to the website for the Society for Assisted Reproductive Technology. That can be found at www.sart.org. At this website, one can see the national averages for the past few years, along with individual clinic success rates for any clinic throughout the country.